We are here at the Flywheel Gallery in Piermont, New York, where Carl Stoveland has a number of his pieces on display. This particular collection is all about infrared photography. Carl, why don't you tell us a little bit about infrared photography? Sure. Since I was in high school, when my photography teacher lent me a Time Life book on infrared photography, I've been absolutely blown away by it. It is a different look. It has um, the foliage and the grass turns almost a bright white, and your sky gets much deeper and darker, and the clouds pop out. It's a very stark and different look for, for black and white images. Uh, I've been shooting it for a while, had been shooting it for a while on film, and recently converted over to digital to shoot it. So what tips would you give photographers who might want to try their hand at infrared? Sure. Normally when I shoot, I try to go out during the earliest parts of the day when the light is very flat. That's when I'm shooting color. Infrared black and white, you want the strongest light you can get for the deepest detail. So where I would normally not shoot at noon, for infrared black and white, that's what I'm looking for. Sounds great. Thanks very much. Thank you.